Hi folks, it's Chris in Arena Studio um, with another quick update of where my finger strength exercises are taking my playing. Um, the final exercise this, if you remember what we did, pattern one was this. Cycling over. Pattern two was fingers one, two and four. Oops. Pattern three was one, two, three and four with this. Pattern four was the biggest stretch of eight, ten, twelve. And then if you remember on the last video, um, I sort of practiced that exercise up a little bit. I'm still working on all four of these, but there's one final exercise which musically uh, isn't going to fit in when you apply this because it's a massive reach and it's purely a physical stretch and strength builder. Um, and it takes place on the B string, on the 10th fret. It's B and E strings, 10th fret. And then we're going to go 10, 13, 14. So it's 10, 13, 14 frets. I have to think about that then. So the whole exercise has got this massive reach in there and it's going to really work fingers three and four. Purely a stretch and strength builder. So now it's time for me to have a little bit of a practice to it. So that's been practiced a little bit. Now I'm quite happy with that. I spent a few minutes on the exercise. Um, before I have a little jam, please remember to just click that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to the magical 1,000 subscribers. And you are sort of coming on board, which is great, and I really do appreciate it. Which is why I'm doing more videos for you, and hopefully we can all travel down this journey of musicality and guitar skills together. So, again, as I've said before, you know, I've been doing this all my life, but this is the weakness in my playing that I've decided to work on. It's legato and, and fingers three and four strength builders. So, hopefully, if you're in a similar position, and I'm sure sure a lot of you will be at some point where you'll think god oh, damn why can't I just play that it's normally down to a physical restriction um, so this is why I'm putting all these out there for you so now it's time for a little jam <laughs> with bum notes as well, uh, trying to cram in little licks and runs uh, using the pentatonic scale and then I actually just dipped into the fingers one, three, four exercise there and the A natural minor scale. So uh, again, uh, obviously a bluesy track is not going to sound brilliant if you're putting loads of legato, shreddy, three note per string patterns in there but uh, hopefully it gives you an indication of what's going on and how I do think it has a massive impact with timing and syncing left and right hands for me all these exercises as well it just seems to be ironing out all those little glitches which I've been hoping to do for years and years and years but finally we're getting there I think so follow the journey and again once again thanks for watching hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week with some backing tracks of how I'm going to apply these licks and phrases on them and show you what I do to make it musical rather than the physical side of it as well Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.